This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The disturbing breaking news tonight, a high school trip from Long Island to Pennsylvania ends in tragedy in Orange County, New York. A bus carrying students heading to a band event crashes and rolls down an embankment. I got chills and I can't stop shaking and just worry about my friends. Tonight, at least one adult is dead, ejected from the bus. Three students in critical condition, 45 others, students and adults, are hurt. That bus, one of six, carrying students from Farmingdale High School in Nassau County. They were headed to band camp when the bus went off the road on Interstate 84 in Waywanda. We have a team of reporters covering this tragedy right now from Long Island to Orange County. And we start with Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Johnson near the scene of the crash. And AJ, a fear for so many parents on a night like this. Bill, it's interesting that you would go ahead and mention that because just a few moments ago, a car passed by where we're located right here on Mount Orange Road, and they said their daughter was on the bus. She's at a nearby hospital. They are trying to go ahead and get to their daughter right now. They said they've talked to her, they've communicated with her and texted with her, and she is all right, but obviously they were very, very shaken and in a hurry to get to the hospital as quickly as they possibly could. Now we're going to take you out here to the roadway. This is once again westbound on 84. We're about a quarter mile from the bus accident. We're on an overpass on Mount Orange Road. We've been watching emergency crews at this location all afternoon long. Remember, this accident took place around 1.20 this afternoon. Now, the latest is we understand that they have searched what was bus one. They've continued to search it, even though it was down the embankment, found no other victims. All the children that were on the bus all of them from Farmingdale High School. They've all been accounted for. Heavy duty vehicles are now on the scene to prepare to try to go ahead and lift that bus from down in the embankment. That is going to be a very tough task to get that bus up. They're going to be working on that, obviously, for well into the afternoon and evening. At least 46 people were involved in the crash. There was one fatality. We have a little bit of a discrepancy in the number of critical injured. Uh, Empress EMS is saying three. The Orange County executive is saying five at this point. But we do know that we have some seriously injured victims. The other buses that were involved in this caravan, buses two through six, were not involved in the accident. They are in the process of now returning to the Farmingdale High School tonight after a stop at the Orange County Community College. Parents are also being taken to St. Anthony's Community Hospital here in Warwick and Bon Secours Community Hospital over in Port Jarvis. That is where that couple I was talking about, that's where they were headed right now to go ahead and try to catch up and meet up with their daughter. So some of those parents are anxious enough, concerned enough that they're driving all the way out here from Long Island so they can get to their kids as soon as they possibly can. As we said, the emergency crews have been out here since this accident took place as that bus was heading westbound out here on 84. The road is still shut down. I can tell you this is probably going to be shut down well into the afternoon, probably well into the evening. It looks like they're preparing for a long operation to finally lift that bus out of the embankment. They did open the the eastbound side of 84 about one hour ago to traffic. Both sides had been shut down for most of the afternoon, but once again, the eastbound side did reopen about one hour ago. Accident scene, still a very busy place for first responders, emergency crews. Of course, this is going to be a long investigation to try to determine how this accident happened involving bus one. They were going out to a band camp out in Pennsylvania when this accident happened. Many of the kids actually on the bus were shaken up. Many walking wounded were out here at the scene, but anywhere from three to five of those young kids were critically injured, and unfortunately, one adult has died.